Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, my name's Nicole. If you're not, welcome back. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. I have a Skims swim haul for you. This has literally just been delivered. Um, I was hoping it would come early this morning so I could film this and get it up for you guys. So all of these were from Selfridges. I didn't want to order from the Skims website because returning it is a nightmare. But yeah, they finally got some exclusive to Selfridges. So yeah, let's open this up, see what my first thoughts are. I can't remember how many exactly I got, but I picked up pretty much every style that they had, I think. Okay, so this is the gunmetal swimsuit. I got it in a 2XL, it was 88 pounds. So let's bear in mind that none of the skim pieces are cheap, like no matter what it is. So yeah, we'll put this on and see what I think. Okay, so we've got the first piece on. This isn't actually too bad. I don't think I would pay 88 pounds for it. Um, I do feel like a bit flat chested in this, but I don't have like the biggest boobs. It is quite a low scoop neck, so just keep that in mind. I will say that it does cinch me in nicely in the waist. I think a 2XL was definitely the right call. And it doesn't sit too bad on my shape either. Some swimsuits can be really unflattering on this section on me because of like my figure shape. Um, we don't have too much of the fat pushed out. I feel like this is actually quite nice and flattering. Again, it is well made. It's nice and thin. Again, it is just very pricey. So it depends like if you want to invest in like some pieces that you can wear all the time. So the back you could probably make cheekier if you wanted to, but I feel like this is quite reasonable coverage. Again, it is like a scoop back. You can adjust the straps. So yeah, overall very happy with this piece. Very surprised as well. So next up we have the almond color set. Again, I'm not sure on the names of these because it's not fully on there. I think this top was £38. I got it in a 2XL. The bottoms I got in a 2XL and they were £48. Again, it's not really noted. It's just got like the colours and the sizes on that. I'm probably not that keen on this colour, but I wanted to try it anyway. I feel like darker browns are more me. But the scoop neck is nice. I definitely feel like the 2X is fine because it just literally sits on my skin really nicely. It doesn't feel too big or too loose. Um, I will say I feel less flat chested in this one. This one obviously is not adjustable. I will turn around and show you guys the back. But yeah, it's super stretchy. It is like a nice double lined material. Again, I don't feel like the bikinis are that pricey. I feel like it's kind of reasonable with some other brands. But overall, obviously it is more on the pricier side. The bottoms in a 2XL actually fit really nice. I'm not sure if I'm super keen on the style of the bottoms. What do you guys think? Do you think it flatters me? I'm not like 100% sure. Um, again, we're not got much fat push out here. I do really like the coverage on these. I do feel like they're nice and compressive. Not too compressive, obviously. They do have a lot of stretch to them. I did pick up some free XLs, I think, in some bits. So I did think these were free XL and I was thinking they're a bit tight. They're a bit on the smaller side for a free X, but these actually fit really nice for a two X. The back is literally just like your typical kind of like sports bra style. And then the bottoms are like half and half, I would say. You could probably make them a lot cheaper if you wanted to, but sometimes I feel like you have to be careful with like the wrinklage on bikinis. Um, I do feel like this bit's not the greatest at the top. Like if you want to be extra picky for things, this isn't like sitting or looking that great, especially when you're paying that amount of money. But yeah, overall, pleasantly surprised. Let me know if you guys think these kind of bottoms suit me. Okay, so next up we have the pink. Obviously I had to try the pink. So this isn't a free X, it's 92 pounds. Um, I will say I'm not a bit sure front of like this in terms of like, I think it might be a little bit see-through, but yeah, this style I'm just going to say is not very flattering. I do feel like I would need it to size down for it to be a bit more fitted. We do have like the high neck. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Obviously you could do it up. You could have more cleavage. I feel quite flat chested in this to be honest. And I will say I don't find this cut very flattering either. And I feel like if you do have darker nipples you're definitely gonna see it through this but this was really buttery soft to put on like it actually feels like you're wearing nothing it is really nice wouldn't pay 92 pounds for it even if it had fitted i do feel like you have to be so careful with the lighter colored ones because they're not that sh they're not that opaque as for the back it is very full coverage but as you can see there's just so much more extra material so that is kind of my fault because obviously i picked a bigger size but i did kind of think they wouldn't have like as much stretch as they actually do um, but yeah, it's more full coverage. You might be able to make it a little bit cheekier. It is like the racer style back. But yeah, I will say, unfortunately, this one is definitely a no from me in terms of the style and even the colour. I think even if I picked up a different 
size and different colour, I probably still wouldn't really rate it that much. This is the Coca set. I got the bottoms in a 3XL, they're 42, and the top was a 2XL, and that's 38. So I'll just go right off the bat and say I definitely could have sized down. These are way too big. If I show you guys the back, look, you can see how much extra material is. So yeah, that's my bad. But while I'm here, let me show you the back of the bikini. That's just your typical triangle bikini. I will say £38 is a lot just for your standard triangle bikini. It is quite like micro, like it's not that full coverage. So if you've got bigger boobs, you're going to be spilling out for sure. Obviously, you can wear this different ways. You do have this in all the other colours. I wouldn't pay £38 for this, but it is versatile. You'd get a lot of use out of it. You can mix and match it style it different ways overall don't really have any complaints about the tops apart from the fact it's expensive and it is quite minimal bottoms they would probably actually be really nice and really cool if i had sized down so i definitely need a 2x or even maybe an extra large um they are a great length i would feel comfortable walking around like this especially if your concerns of your body are like your stomach or uh, cellulite or you don't really want to have your bum out or got skin condition like anything kind of like along those lines I feel like these are great and I do love the fact that skims has all these weird options that a lot of other brands don't obviously they cater from like extra small to four five XL whatever it is I do really feel like they are catering to a lot of different needs whether it's personal preference medical whatever overall I actually really think this is a nice set and it's very practical it's suitable but these bombs are only like four pound more than the top they don't really make sense to me again it is really nice it's well made I do really like it. I do think it's quite cool. I totally forgot to show you the back of these. Um, so that's what they look like. They don't hide cellulite that well, but it's not too bad. Okay, so I saved this one till last because obviously I had to get this over my head. Didn't want to mess up my hair. So obviously we've got this black set. The top is an extra, extra large. That was 52 and the bottoms are a 3X and they were 38. I knew I got these bombs in a 3X. So these are basically the same as the brown ones. Definitely needed the 2X because it's obviously not sitting as right because they are loose and this is like bagging out so yeah i definitely feel like size stay true to size or maybe size down if you want a tighter fit but yeah bottoms are fine again if they size down they would be all right kind of like full coverage probably can make them cheeky but i do feel like when it comes to these sort of sets they're just so like minimal and plain that can you justify spending the amount on them when you can go to another site and get something cheaper the top again this is maybe suiting people who don't like their arms want more coverage i don't know if people are surfing or doing something you've got a different style top so this is great i love it it fits well it is again on the looser side so maybe i could have sized down it fits nice on my arms it's not too tight it's just like your basic crop top isn't it really but it's just a swim version um again it kind of comes to a nice it does come to a nice sort of spot on me if these were sort of more high-waisted, then it would look a little bit better or more flattering on me. But yeah, overall, it's great. It's not double-lined. It is like a thin material. It doesn't do the girls much justice or you've got, like, no support as well. So if you don't mind that, then this is perfect for you. But yeah, I feel like this is nice and comfortable. Again, it's a nice material. It's not irritable on the skin. And then the back is basically full coverage. It's exactly the same. Okay, so my final thoughts. I feel like the pieces are very nice. They are well made, they're nice quality, they're nice and buttery and soft. They are obviously pricey. If you wanna invest in some of these pieces that you can wear time and time again, definitely do that. Um, obviously these are the only styles and colours that Selfridges had. I know Skim's website has many other different styles, colours. They've got some like camo print out at the moment. But I do feel like they have something for everyone. So depending on what you need and what you want, they do have something. Pleasantly surprised, I would definitely try their swimwear again. I would definitely like to pick up some other colours and different styles next time because I don't feel like many of these are particularly me. I feel like if I've got to re recommend anything, I do think that gunmetal swimsuit was probably the nicest out of them all. So yeah, I will leave them all linked down below to the Selfridges website. I will leave a link to the Skims website if you want to check it out on there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one was your favourite. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.